Hello boys and girls and welcome to Arsenal TV. Now this video is the review um, of the Arsenal kit um, for for the 2018 and 2019 season, which is next season. I have my brother here with me that is actually wearing the kit. Yep. Um, I really do, by all eyesight for me looking at the kit, I like it. Um, for me personally, I don't like the sleeve with no. a red and white stripe. I really don't like that. No. Um, I'm not really much of a lover of it. Um, I don't mind the collar. The collar's okay. Um, the badge is actually the, this season. The badge, the badge, and the Puma logo is actually all stitched on. Um, so that, that's nice. Um, now I know this. I know these kits were stitched on. Um, so I do like that as well. They've kept that like that as well. Um, Lou. Yeah. Thank you for doing this video with me today. Yeah. Um, now, I know you brought this Arsenal kit, the home kit, yeah. online on yeah. the Arsenal Direct website. Yeah. Um, guys, I will leave the website in the description below where you can go out and check to see the kits and that on the Arsenal website. Um, how long, roughly, did you have to wait for the kit to actually come to you by post? Three to five working days. Three to five working days. Okay. Yeah. Um how much was the whole kit in total? My number, a hundred and twenty-three pound. One hundred and twenty-three, and that's including with. As you look, guys, if he just turns to the side, that's including with the Premier League badge logo stitched on as well. Um, as well. So, Lou, it was one hundred and twenty-three pound. Um, yeah. Now, guys, bear in mind this is the last kit that Puma is doing for Arsenal as from next season. Um, because uh, in the 2019 and 20 season, um, we are going to be sponsoring by Adidas, I believe. Yeah. Um, it hasn't been confirmed yet, but oh. I think we all know it's roughly going to be Adidas next se uh, the season after. Yeah. Um, Lou, how do you? How does the top feel, and how yeah. does the shorts feel? Does it feel comfortable? Yeah, it, it does comfortable. It feels very comfortable. Yeah. Um, what do you? like about the top mostly in yeah, a badge the badge and the whole yeah. red and white um if you notice in the top guys he's got like a line that's going across here and it's going up and down it's more like in the a shape um if you look at you can't really see it much on the actual pictures itself um but if when you look at it yeah. up close you can actually see it properly um compared to what this kit was i mean look at the difference compared to this collar here to the new one to last season's one last season's one you had the button you didn't know whether to have the button up or or not to have the button done up um now these two tops Lou just stand over to the side for me for a minute now for these two tops guys um as you can tell the away collar was completely different to what the home collar was um i actually thought that the collars might have been both the same but they weren't um but yeah going back to the the new kit for this season um I've actually tried this top on, and the top does feel quite comfortable. Um, I'm not, a, I'm not really much of a lover. As I said, I'm not a lover of the white stripes that's down the side of the sleeve. Oh. See, I'm more old-fashioned. I like the old, you know, plain white and the red in the middle. You know, but because this is the way this looks. If you take away the red and white stripes, it actually looks like the O2 shirt that we were back wore back in um, 2002. 2003 yeah. season so roughly about that time um lou um i know you've ordered the new away kit as yeah. well which came out um two days ago yeah um what's your thoughts on the away kit I, I don't like it what don't you like about it the color yeah i'm not a lover of the color either to be honest um I know the third kit is getting released soon as well. Yeah. The lime, that green one, yeah. um, that's getting released soon. Um, yeah, this this kit is is a it is a nice kit. I do like it, but I'm just not a lover of the the stripes. I don't think they should have had that on there. To be honest, um, Lou, if you turn around for me now, guys, this is the back of the shirt. As you can see, my brother's got a uh, Pierre Emerick Aubameyang on the back. Um, the number is pretty much decent with the old Premier League logo at the bottom. Um, I like this stitching that's across the top here that's coming down to the back. I actually really, really like that stitching. Um, one thing for me that I think is missing, and that is the cannon that we had on this shirt. And this shirt, we had the cannon that's on the back. Um, this shirt, this season, no longer has that. I don't know why, but I think they should have kept it. Yeah. Um, 
Now, guys, I'm just going to move the camera down for a minute so you can actually see the shorts and the socks. Sorry about the cot in the background. Um, yeah, so guys, this is the shorts. Um, I really do think that the shorts are very, very comfortable too. I personally have... I'm wearing a pair of the shorts right now, but um, this is not the men's shorts. This is the women's shorts. So I thought I'd just wear these. Um, but yeah, you've got... You've got these shorts here. These are the actual men's shorts. Um, I really, really quite like these shorts. Um, as you know, the badge is stitched on. Uh, even the Puma logo is black this season. Yeah. That's shocking. They, the Puma logo hasn't really been black. But, yeah, that's that's nice. Um, as you can tell down the bottom, my brother is wearing the uh, socks. These are the socks. Um, I actually quite like the socks. I, I don't know. I know they've got the red and white stripe at the top, but I think that is mainly um, because it's got it on the shirt. Lou, just turn around to the back for me. And we've obviously got Arsenal at the back here, down the bottom here. Um, we had Arsenal on one of the other kits. I can't remember what kit it was, but we had Arsenal on the back of that. Um, I think it's that one. Them two. Uh, last season, um, I think I can remember last season's kit on the back of the socks. I believe we had the cannon on the back yeah. of it and not the actual name Arsenal. Um, so yeah, I'm really, really, I really, really do um, like this kit. Um, it's okay, I guess. But yeah. this, as I say, guys, this is the last kit that we're having with Puma um, up until 2009, uh, 2000 and. Um, 19 and 20 season it's going to be adidas so i'm actually yeah. looking forward to seeing the new adidas kits i've seen um concepts of it um of what they're going to look like but we don't know for sure yet um now lou over the summer yeah uh we know uh arsene wenger left last season yeah um so he's now gone uh, we want a change in the team we've now got change we've got a new manager now unai emery yeah um what are you looking forward to? We're um, winning trophies. Winning trophies. Yeah. Um, what about to see how he's going to change the team? Um, change formation. Change formation, yeah. I don't think we'll be playing the same formation no. every week. Um, not like we did with Arsene Wenger. We're playing a 4-2, 4-2-3-1 yeah. lineup. Um, now, I know Una Emery does play like the four four two three one lineup yeah. but he probably change it every so often. Yeah. Um I know that we're in Europa League again next season. Yeah. Um how do you feel about how did you feel about Europa League last season? Shocking. We came close didn't we to get yeah. to the final. Um now because Una Emery has won the Europa League three consecutive seasons in a row with Seville, do you think he could win Europa League with us? Yes. You do? Um, okay. Um, now I know Arsenal have made some new signings. Yeah. Um, I know we have just signed Stefan Lynchsteiner. Yeah. Um, we've just signed him a right back. Um, that's going to be now challenging Bellerin at right back. Do you think that was a good signing? Yeah. Even though he's thirty four. Yeah. Yeah, I think that was a good signing too. Um, I know we are on the verge of getting a deal done for Socrates, the centre back from yeah. Dortmund. Yeah. I know Arsenal, as I've said in my live video of the transfer daily, um, I don't know if you've seen it, no. um, but uh, I've said that we've been linked with Matthew Fellaini. Yeah. I don't know whether that's been confirmed yet, if he, if it's just a rumour or if he is actually going to be... He is coming in, right? You reckon he will come to Arsenal? Seriously? Yeah. <laughs> I really do hope not. I, I don't really want him at Arsenal. Um now, I know Arsenal are probably going to be looking for a defensive midfielder yeah. and probably looking for um, a winger. Yeah. Um, I would like us to get Mares for a yeah. winger, personally. Probably. I think he's good for Leicester. Um, defensive midfielder, I would like to see, personally, Nzonzi, yeah. Yaya Torre. Yeah. That's who I would personally like to see. Lou, um, just give me your thoughts. Um, what do you? Where do you reckon Arsenal, with the new manager... Um, do we give Una Emery time yeah. to get the team the way he wants it? Yeah. So we have to get behind him and get behind the team? Yeah. Yeah, so that's a good thing, guys. We have to get behind him. We have to. Without a fail, we have to get behind him. Um, where do you reckon that Arsenal could end up next season in the league by the end of May? Second or third. You reckon second or third? Okay, that's actually not a bad... 
not a bad uh, thingy. Because I know we finished sixth last season. Yeah. So top four maybe in yeah. the top four. If yeah. if if we get a good um, get a good uh, yeah. games away from home as well. Because yeah. our away record was terrible as well. Um. Lou, what do you what don't you like about the kit? Describe. You don't like the stripes. Um, what about the collar? Do you like the collar? Yeah, I like it. You like it? Yeah. Okay, that's really, really good. Um, I know, as I said, guys, um, I will go through the kit. I know that the lettering for the Fly Emirates has been ironed on. Um, I'm not a lover of it being ironed no. on, to be honest, because um, I've noticed when you get the kit within a few couple of months or so, the writing seems to fade off. Look, just like on this one, the E is starting to fade off. I'm um, starting to peel off, and yeah, I kind of don't. I'm not a lover of that at all, guys. No, I don't. Um, but Lou, um, thank you for coming on to this video for me and uh, actually viewing this kit. Yeah. Um, I really, as I said, I really do like the kit. Yeah. Um, I think it's okay. It's not the best, but I, no. I do, I do like it. We've just got to get used to it yeah. for a whole season. Um. So yeah, guys, um, this has been Arsenal TV. Um, I really do hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, you know what to do and you're new around here. Make sure you smash that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button and make sure you leave your comments below. Let me know on the Dan on the comments section below what your thoughts are are on the on the kit. And um yeah, let me just let me know um, seriously on your thoughts. Um, until next time, guys. Oh, as I said at the start of the video, I will leave the Arsenal Direct website at the bottom in the description so you can go on it and check out the kits on there um, and the prices and so on and so forth. Um, Baloo, thank you for coming on to the TV yeah. Arsenal TV show with me. Um, so, guys, until next time, I'm out of here.